Microalbuminuria is an early predictor of diabetic nephropathy and premature cardiovascular disease as well. Now in the New England Journal of Medicine, researchers report on whether treatment with an angiotensin receptor blocker, in this case, Omasartan, would delay or prevent the occurrence of microalbuminuria in patients with type 2 diabetes. In this randomized multicenter controlled trial, they assigned almost 4,500 patients with type 2 diabetes to receive 40 milligrams once daily Omasartan or placebo for 3.2 years. The good news is that the time to the onset of microalbuminuria was increased by 23% with Omasartan. But the devil, of course, is in the details. Not surprisingly, the serum creatinine level doubled in 1% of the patients. Slightly fewer patients in the Omasartan group than in the placebo group had non-fatal cardiovascular events, but a greater number had fatal cardiovascular events. If you look more closely, that increase was attributable in part to a high rate of death from cardiovascular causes in the Omosartan group than in the placebo group among patients with pre-existing coronary disease. Well, what is there to take away from this study? Certainly, Omosartan seems to be associated with a delayed onset of microalbuminuria. That's good. Is the higher rate of fatal cardiovascular events with Omosartan among patients with pre-existing coronary disease a concern? I don't know the answer, but I'll bet that we'll see more studies with Omosartan in diabetics to help answer the downside potential in this study. I'm Peter Block, and this is a CardioSource Heart Minute.